Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Avida Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced SQL problems and topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced selecting joins, subqueries, and advanced topics like window function and common table expression. In this video, we are going to solve this question called duplicate emails and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 21st video of this series called duplicate emails. And if I look at the companies, this question has been asked in so Amazon and Uber a quite number of times. So kind of an important question. Let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called person with two different columns, ID and email. ID is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table contains an email. The email will not contain uppercase letters. We are asked to write a solution to report all the duplicate emails. Note that it's guaranteed that the email field is not null. Order of the result does not matter. Okay, let's go through this example. So here we have three different records and A at the B.com is a repeated email. So obviously that should be in our output. So to solve this question, what we need to do is even though this question says that the email will be in lower case, it is better to write our query in a generalized manner and try to use the lower case before grouping. And then the logic to do this is you can group by the email and count the number of IDs. And since ID is a unique value, right? If you have the count of ID more than one, then obviously that email has been repeated more than once. So we can use the having clause to filter based on an aggregate. So what I'm saying is from this table called person, let's group by, let's group by the email column. You can directly go ahead and group by, but what I like to do is I always like to generalize my query. So I always make sure that, okay, let's do this lower. So even if in some of the test cases, the email has a uppercase in some of the letters, it will convert everything to lowercase and try to find out whether the email is actually repeated or not. So group by the lower, then what we need to do is we need to count the number of IDs that is going to give you how many times this particular email is present in this table. So having only count of ID, we do not need to write distinct because here it also already says that ID is a primary key that is unique values, right? So having count of ID greater than one, because that means this email has been repeated more than once in the table. And those are the emails that we need to report, right? So having count of ID greater than one, those emails we need to return. So return that email or what we can do is we can just copy this here lower part of the email. You can directly write email, but I'm just trying to generalize my query so that it works and passes every test cases, even the ones that are not present here and are going to be included in the future. Okay. And since we do not need to order this by anything and no alias is required as well, let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. So yeah, this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases. So this is accepted and this is how to do it. Not a very difficult question. All we had to do was group by the lowercase email in case you want to generalize your query and then count the number of IDs. So that is going to give you the number of times this email has been repeated. And if your count is greater than one, that means it is a duplicate email. So we return those emails. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.